career title defense, putting his super featherweight belt on the line against Angel Manfredi. Mayweather wasted little time attacking in the second round. Mayweather with a right over the top stuns Manfredi. Manfredi in trouble as Mayweather pounds away. Manfredi almost went down. He won't take a knee, but he isn't throwing back. Mayweather pounding, pounding, and this one's going to be stopped. And Floyd Mayweather Jr. has another big, stunning victory to cap off his rise to stardom. January 2001, Floyd's biggest fight as a 130-pounder was against former champion Diego Corrales. Mayweather dominated Chico throughout the fight. The super quickness of Floyd Mayweather produces a knockdown to begin the seventh round. And the second knockdown of the round for Mayweather. And there's the third knockdown of the round. I'm gonna start to fight myself if you don't throw punches. Right hand, another knockdown, fifth knockdown of the fight. Ray Woods is up on the apron. That's gonna be the end of the fight. April 2002, Mayweather met Jose Luis Castillo for a lightweight title belt. Floyd's blinding hand speed was the story in the early round. Castillo was left with no choice but to turn the fight into a brawl. There's a hard straight right hand by Castillo. Hard right hand by Castillo. A point was deducted from Castillo in round eight for hitting on the break. What appeared to be a big break for Mayweather was nullified as he had a point deducted for pushing off with his elbow in round 10. Then, in a seemingly too close to call fight, headed down the stretch, Floyd was forced to stand in and compete. And there's a brilliant left-right combination there. And another combination. Rolling until the final bell, Mayweather scored a controversial unanimous decision by a surprisingly wide margin. The rematch took place eight months later. Once again, Mayweather established his quickness early. And once again, Castillo began rolling in the middle rounds. Now one, two, three, four times. You can't miss him if you throw three shots. But Mayweather began to create effective distance and consistently beat Castillo to the punch. Right hands over the top by Mayweather. One, two, three of them, and four of them. Floyd Mayweather retained his crown with another unanimous decision over the former lightweight champion. June 2005, having conquered two weight classes, a confident Floyd Mayweather set his sights on Arturo Gatti for a 140-pound title. Mayweather ruled the action from the opening bell. Right hand is solid. Combinations by Mayweather. Too much speed, maybe too much power too. There's a vicious right hand over the top. He promised he would humiliate Arturo Gatti before his fans. It's getting brutal in there as Mayweather fires at will. Mayweather captured the title with a technical knockout in the sixth round. April 2006, Mayweather was heavily favored in a matchup with Zab Judah. Judah started off strong, consistently beating Mayweather to the punch. There's a good quick left hand inside by Zab Judah. Big left hand over the top by Judah. He believes he's got no rubber hurt. Crowd is going wild for Judah. He landed a straight left cross flush. As the fight continued, Mayweather's accuracy began to surface, and he consistently landed at will. He is starting to get his offensive game together. Judah's frustration boiled over in round 10 prompting one of boxing's ugliest scenes in recent years. Oh, and there's a low blow, blow by Judah. And Richard Steele pulls Sab Judah off of Met Floyd Mayweather Jr. And Mayweather is badly hurt by the low blow. And now Roger Mayweather wants to come after Zab. And now Leonard Ellerby wants Noel to. And a riot is going to break out in the ring. Eventually, order was restored. Mayweather's dominance continued, and he cruised to the unanimous decision victory. A November 2006 fight featured Mayweather, the pound-for-pound -pound king, against welterweight champion Carlos Baldemir. The size of Baldemir was no match for the speed and quickness of Mayweather. Good right hand by Mayweather. Baldemir getting tattooed around the head. Baldemir took punch after punch to the face for much of the fight. Mayweather cruised to an easy victory. May 2007. Boxing's most publicized prize fight in recent years as Mayweather met Oscar De La Hoya. It was clear early De La Hoya wanted to make it a brawl. And he lands the right cross across the top. And for the first time in the fight, Mayweather looks genuinely on the defensive. There are the body shots, and there is a sustained attack to the body like nothing you've seen in De La Hoya's career. Although De La Hoya was the busier fighter in the early rounds, Mayweather was never hurt 
And as the fight went on, Floyd's quicker reflexes began to surface. Good quick left hook inside by Mayweather and a big right hand upstairs by Floyd. Biggest shot of the night for Mayweather. And Mayweather is trying to knock Oscar out with a right hand. Mayweather beginning to operate like a surgeon. Fighting Floyd Mayweather is a dose of cold reality. And where does Mayweather go from this pinnacle after claiming that he's going to retire? They fight to the finish and please the crowd. To the dismay of the almost unanimously pro Delaware crowd, Mayweather was awarded the split decision victory. December 2007, another Mayweather super fight, this time against Ricky Hatton. In a matchup of undefeated welterweights, Hatton began on the offensive and had Mayweather on his heels. Floyd adjusted to the brawling tactics and began to land his right-hand counterpunch at will. Hard right hand by Mayweather. And there's a cut over Ricky Hatton's right eye. Big cut. It was from the right-hand shot. Hatton grew frustrated with his inability to hurt Mayweather and opened himself up to serious damage. Straight right hand seemed momentarily to stun Hatton. Good quick left hook by Mayweather as Hatton came in. Sometimes it's the right hand, sometimes it's the left hook. Huge round for Mayweather here in the eighth. Mayweather believes he's got Hatton in big trouble. Hatton continued to come forward and allowed Mayweather to close in emphatic fashion. What a left hook. What a perfect shot. This fight is over. Floyd Mayweather has a knockout victory over Ricky Hatton. September 2009. After a retirement that had kept him out of the ring for 21 months, Mayweather was back to face Juan Manuel Marquez. Floyd picked up right where he had left off. And there's a knockdown on a left hook. Excellent left hook. And Marquez walked right into it. Bigger, quicker, better man. Winning every exchange. So much for ring rust. Round by round, it became clear the smaller Marquez could not deal with the speed and power of Mayweather's punches. And he is punishing Juan Manuel Marquez in this round. Brilliant combination by Mayweather. If that didn't hurt Marquez, I'm not sure what would. This is the kind of performance that will convince many that Floyd is still the best fighter in the world. What a return to the sport. 21 months off, and he's better than ever. In dominant fashion, Mayweather rolled to the unanimous decision victory. May 2010, a matchup years in the making became reality. Mayweather taking on full-fledged welterweight Shane Mosley. The second round found Mayweather in an unfamiliar spot. There's a hard right hand, and that may be the hardest punch that Floyd Mayweather has taken in recent years. There's another right hand. Shane Mosley has brought the crowd into the fight. Another big right hand. Mayweather's knees buckled on the second right hand. I think he's hurt. He's going to stand in his legs. The legs don't lie. But from round three onward, Mayweather got into his rhythm, controlling the pace, attacking with precision. That was a stunning shot from Mayweather right on the button. Another stunning right hand by Mayweather and a big left hook. He's landing shots cleanly inside. Floors are very much more compact and more powerful. With each passing round, Mayweather's advantages in quickness and timing became more pronounced. Shane can't have the speed and the coordination of Mayweather. Is that something? Floyd Mayweather's skill level, Floyd Mayweather's conditioning, Floyd Mayweather's application to the sport is at this moment unique. And he stands alone. September 2011. Mayweather faced off with young, hard-punching southpaw Victor Ortiz. Mayweather showcased his quickness in the opening round. Tremendously accurate with that right-hand lead. He's landed three or four of them on the button. A good round for Floyd, but Ortiz didn't look outclassed completely. While Ortiz had some success pushing the action to the corners, Mayweather never seemed flustered. And Mayweather looks like, I have him, I'm going to just chop him down systematically. Florida fighting a beautiful fight right now. Round four would quickly become one of the most controversial rounds in recent memory. And Victor Ortiz lands a right hook. He got one in there, and he lands another one, and a big left. And Ortiz is ripping Mayweather against the ropes. 
he seems to feel the urgency. Pushing Mayweather back against the rope, jumping on him. Cortez calling timeout, and he's going to penalize Ortiz for butting him. Defend yourself at all times. It was legal. It was legal. And it's officially a KO. Ortiz was apologizing, and Mayweather was punching. We can all say he was exciting in the ring.